Hello Reapers, my name is Ethan. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the botanical, what is this thing called? Botanical Blaster Pack in Trove. Yet another, another $5 pack that's just randomly been added to the game. Feels like it's just a mishmash of random items that they just decided to put a price tag on. I wouldn't have an issue with it. We're gonna talk about whether the pack is actually worth getting. For sure it's worth getting, but my one complaint is the fact that you have to put $5 cash american cash down on it you can't do it with credit pouches if it was credit pouches it would just be like hey that's awesome but the fact that they're starting to lock out free-to-play players with even more mastery items uh, because of course that's the majority of us is just going to be getting this for the mastery it's not like we're going to use these because they look cool uh but still it's it's a little disappointing that they've been putting these out with such frequency uh, especially with the fact that the Trove Heroes update is coming around the corner. So honestly speaking, if you don't really have that much money, you know, if you're on an allowance or something, or if you're waiting to get paid, wait until the Trove Heroes update comes out. You're not really going to need anything out of this pack. That said, let's get into it. So this is going to end up being one of three allies in the game that you can end up getting out of the pack. It's kind of cute. I like it because it's got to do with the whole St. Paddy's Day event that's going on. The, it's not going to end up being anything spectacular. Pot of Plenty. Let's take a quick little peek. Uh, he's going to give you 20 mastery, give you 40 magic find and two to jump. So that's not too bad. Uh, the fact that you end up getting the magic find out of it. Of course, you're going to have better magic find allies already unless you just started out the game uh, then of course that pack is going to end up being worthwhile just for that ally alone and then we got this little cutums right here which of course you're probably sitting here wondering and thinking that looks like it'll go with the gunslinger costume yes it most definitely will the reason for that is because this was actually designed by the same person so bouncy bubbler let's take a Quick little peek right here. Bouncy Blubber is going to end up giving you six jump and was actually designed by Biscuit Cat, who is the same guy who ended up making uh, the bubble costume for the Gunslinger. So it's, it's cute. I like it. It deserves death, but it still is adorable. Uh, and then we've got this ally right here, which is my favorite, just because of the simple fact that it makes me think of Plants vs. Zombies. You know, I, I know that it's just a sunflower with shades and a guitar, but either way, I like it. And the fact that it's actually got a unique animation to it. I, I like that ally a lot. There's just something about it. This is called the Jammin' Flower. And it's going to end up giving you more 20 mastery, of course. So you're still getting quite a bit out of it. I actually did get a mastery level out of buying this pack. And I am at 544. So I was at 543. And my point being is as you get higher and higher in mastery, it takes a lot more mastery points in order to level up. So this should end up being pretty good for most starting players, right? 25% crit damage. So it's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Uh, and then you're going to end up gaining three uh spring recipes uh which is going to end up unlocking a bunch of recipe styles not really the best that you only get three of them uh because otherwise you can only get those out of spring pinatas uh, as far as i recall 33 jade clovers i understand the need to give us jade clovers on a saint patrick's day uh pack but 33 is useless like seriously we should have got 300 honestly speaking uh and 33 uh bombs and then 33 big bombs so that's kind of random that they just throw those in as well and the coupe de grace which obviously is going to be the big reason why you buy this pack in the first place is going to be the Tropiary terrapin which gives you 100 mastery points full on not 50 even though it is a mount but it does actually operate as a boat. As far as the game is concerned, this thing is a boat. Now, it's just the exact same as a tank turtle, which is really interesting, but it's going to end up taking your boat slot. So on PC, you're going to have to actually pe press the button to select your boat. And on console, you're going to have to swap to, uh, you know, the boat hotkey uh, in order to actually equip this thing. Now, unfortunately or fortunate, depending on the type of way that you like playing games, uh, because it's a boat, your camera is going to zoom out to outer space, which makes the game a little bit unplayable, especially if you're actually going into dungeons and stuff like that. Your camera's just going to be jumping all over the place while you're trying to fight enemies and stuff. Uh, but it does shoot and the uh aiming and trajectory of the shot actually looks really really weird doesn't it because it just kind of goes in a straight line and then suddenly just decides to drop 
Uh, it would have been really cool if it actually was one of the first uh, shots that could just go way, way, like super, just just a straight line into the distance, right? But obviously it's going to shoot a lot further than the tank turtle, near as I can tell anyways, just because of the simple fact that it counts as a boat. So it, boat shots, I think, actually shoot further. Let's actually take a quick little peek and see, can we end up hitting that rock over there? Oh, maybe it's about the same. We got to aim a lot higher in order to actually see, though. Because otherwise, with this one, we don't need to aim nearly as high. I guess that's where the camera ends up coming into play, right? But there's two things about this thing. There's a bad thing, which, of course, obviously, we're going to start with that. The bad thing about this mount is the fact that it takes a boat slot means that even when the Trove Heroes update comes out, uh, when that update ends up hitting March 20th or 27th, whenever it hits, uh, the Knight subclass ability is going to actually affect turtle mounts so tank turtle is going to be able to have increased movement speed thus making it one of the most useful mounts in the entire game it's price should definitely increase for starting players and people that don't want to carry bombs and stuff like that as opposed to this guy takes a boat slot so he will never see the benefit of actually using the subclass ability and honestly speaking i think that might be the big reason why they made this take the boat slot however there is a good thing to this uh, there is a good side to this mount uh first of all it doesn't have to take your mount slot so you can have a faster mount just uh, uh equipped and then you could just swap over to this guy without actually having to swap through the collections menu which obviously would end up taking a lot longer but then on top of that i kind of been experimenting and it's tricky to do probably impossible to do it on consoles unless you have a macro controller or something like that but for pc you could shoot swap to your mount shoot swap back and forth uh, and just kind of keep doing this and you can see that we actually refresh the cooldown on our uh, cannonballs as soon as we end up swapping into uh, the mount and the turret as you saw right there we it does get a little bit glitchy though we ended up having the wrong cannon on the tank turtle so it definitely is buggy uh you know the mountain itself seems to be buggy just in the way that it controls it kind of feels like maybe because of the way that it works like how it's kind of a boat it just kind of seems like it's got problems to it i don't exactly know why it, there's just something about it that doesn't really feel 100 percent polished and if you look at the cannon freaking out on our character like it's like dude that doesn't happen on a tank turtle does it oh maybe it does huh I thought that I, maybe it's just a little bit more obvious with this one just because it's all pink and you can actually see your character because of the perspective. But in either case, is the pack actually worth $5? Yeah, until the Trove Heroes update ends up coming out because that is going to, of course, uh, affect the Tank Turtle with the Knight subclass ability. But on top of that, there's going to be plenty of other things that you can spend your money on when the Trove Heroes update comes out. That's why I think it was a little bit of a mistake for them to just throw this random little pack in because there's already going to be so many things that you can buy and that you're gonna want to buy when the Trove Heroes update comes out, including the new class, that suddenly this $5 pack just gets thrown to the wayside, which might be why they actually did release it right now because they want to get rid of it, right? They want to get rid of this thing as quickly as possible because nobody's probably going to end up getting it. But either way, it still is very useful, uh, especially for starting players, kind of gross at the same time. Uh, and the fact that it does end up taking a boat means that you are going to end up having, uh, you know, boat speed and everything like that. And what's a little bit interesting is it seems like, is it just me? Or are we a little bit faster when we're in the air, similar to how we ended up uh, back in the day? There used to be this thing called the boat hop. Maybe not. And there, for some weird reason, this mount's like totally playing tricks on me. I have no idea why. But in either case, folks, is it worth $5? Yes, most definitely. Uh, if you can't spare it, though, save it for when Trove Heroes comes out. Otherwise, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I wish that we could actually zoom in the camera a little bit here, but this is the closest I can actually get the camera, whereas this is actually the furthest. Doesn't really make that much of a difference. I'll honestly just stick to using Tank Turtle. That is to say, I don't even use Tank Turtle, but uh, it's, still, it's still pretty cool that we actually got this thing right. So in any case... Thanks for watching. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. And if you want to support me, there's going to be links in the description to my merch store, as well as Gawkbox, which is a method that you can use to support me for absolutely free. Sign on and stay epic, Reapers. Oh, something else. You know what I just noticed here, folks? Uh, this mount is actually very, very glitchy in that if you actually swap over to it and then swap back to a normal mount, you are actually not going to be affected by the knight subclass ability. It cancels it outright. So in order to actually reestablish yourself with the knight subclass ability, all you got to do, it's a quick fix. You just hop off your mount and hop right back on.
but it does mean that this thing is pretty buggy and honestly should have been something that they either considered or at least uh, can fix sometime in the future, but it seems like a little bit uh, too much effort to go into just this random mount that's just thrown into a store pack. So in either way, you know, is that going to end up being something that makes it so that this value is not actually worthwhile? That's entirely up to you.